So what I'm going to start off with first is the really inexpensive, the RTL SDR. This is a little device that you can buy on Amazon, and it's basically a receiver. And you just plug that by USB into your laptop, right? Exactly. So I just plug it into yeah. my laptop. All right, and it's a receiver. It works pretty good, especially if your interest is in trying to receive signals. I'm going to open it up with an application here. This is HD SDR. It's a Windows application. The reason I'm using it is because it's pretty easy to work with for a beginner. This is the waterfall down here, and we have all of the signals here. Spikes here. There's a spike here. And I've got it centered on 315, 315 megahertz. The reason I have it centered there is because that's where the key fobs that the car manufacturers make, that's where they operate in the U.S. and Japan. In Europe, I think they use four, 433.9, but I'm in the U.S. I'm using a U.S. Japanese key fob, <laughs> so it's going to be probably in the 315 megahertz range. Well, one of the things that's important to note is that whenever you're working in radio signals, any device that is using a part of the radio spectrum has to be, be registered with the FCC. So if you have a question about what frequency the device is using, all you have to do is look at the back of the device and it'll have an FCC number on it. Look it up. It'll tell you exactly what frequency it's operating at. I know that these operate at 315. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and hit the lock and unlock on my key fob. Watch what happens right here around 315. See that spike right there? Yep. And you see yep. it right here? That's the signal from my key fob. I'll do it again. There it is. That's the signal to unlock my door. See, it's centered right on it, right? Looks like it's 315.05. You see it right there? Yep. 315. So and now we know what frequency it's operating on.